Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat and I'm a flight attendant with a major US airline. I am so excited to make today's video. I'm excited to bring it to you guys. These are some of my favorite videos to make. There's some of your favorite videos to watch and in today's video, I have a bunch of goodies that I'm gonna be sharing with y'all. Some of them I've already been using that I love to death. Some of them I recently bought because I really needed them. So I'm excited to bring that to you. But before we get into that, I do wanna go ahead and thank today's sponsor. So today's video is actually being sponsored by Bright Sellers. So Bright Sellers is a monthly wine subscription that uses a seven question quiz to match you to wines based on your taste. So Bright Sellers has wines from all over the world and they find these unique hidden gems at these small vineyards. So there are hundreds of private labels so you'll be able to try wines that you have never tried before. So all you have to do is take the quick and simple seven question quiz and they're very easy questions. They're like, what kind of chocolate do you like? Like, how do you drink your tea? Things like that so they can gather your taste preferences and that way they can deliver you wines that you are guaranteed to like. But one of my favorite things I love about Bright Sellers is the fact that they deliver the wines directly to you. So you no longer have to go to liquor stores or grocery stores, wasting your money on wines that you're not even gonna like and they're not even gonna match your tastes. And each box comes with wine education cards for each bottle that outlines the tasty notes, the suggested pairings, the best serving temperature, and the origin. So now you can impress your friends and family with all your new extensive wine knowledge from their education cards. Bright Sellers also has amazing customer service. They actually have something called a delight guarantee, which says that if you don't love one of the bottles of wine in your shipment, they will actually send you a replacement in your next box. So the one I'm most excited about that I'm gonna be drinking today is called Gladiolus. Oh yeah. Not to mention that Bright Sellers is also offering my subscribers an exclusive deal of 50% off your first six bottle box of wine plus a free bonus bottle. So that is seven bottles of wine for only $53, which is absolutely insane. So be sure to go down to my description box below and click that link to support my channel, as well as get started on your quiz. And thank you again to Bright Sellers for sponsoring today's video. That is good. That is actually probably my favorite bottle of wine that I've ever gotten from them. When they said, we're gonna nail your taste preferences, they did it. Like this is, I love Mia Riesling. I think Riesling's one of my favorite absolute wines. Like they nailed this. Okay, so to finally kick us off I am going to dive into the thing that I was waiting for last it showed up today and I was like thank goodness this is what I've been waiting for because I got it last I found it and I was like this is everything so this is a pencil holder but <laughs> hear me out for a minute but look how cute this print is so yes you can hold pencils in here I get it it's it's adorable if you want to if you want to store your pens and pencils in here but that is not what I got it for whether you love it or you hate it Masks are not going anywhere on the planes. It's a federal mandate. We're gonna have to continue wearing masks on the planes. It is what it is at this point. So I wanted a holder to store my masks in and you guys, it is perfect. It fits my masks in here perfect. Like they're not squished at all. Like they're just chilling in here. They fit in here like, like it was, it was like it was made to hold my masks. And I know it is a pencil holder and if you wanna put your pencils in here, feel free to do that. But I am loving this because the little plastic bags that you buy the masks in, I can buy at Costco, but the little plastic bag they give you that they're in, they would just dump out. And then I'd have masks all over my bag and I'd have to go like lasso them up and rodeo them up and try to get them, put them back in the little plastic bag. And then next time I open my bag, boom, they're dumped everywhere. So I really wanted to just be styling and profiling with my new mask holder. So I am in love with this. This was everything I wanted it to be. I just think this is absolutely adorable. So moving on to item number two, a shoe bag. So I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but I took this along because my last shoe bag broke. The jawstring broke and I was so upset because I use my shoe bag on every single flight. And I just love, first and foremost, can we just, can we take a moment for the design? Because the design on here, she's everything. But I love my shoe bag. My shoe bag sees sees it, like sees it all. It sees the, the good, the bad, and the smelly. So I really needed another shoe bag. And this one is great because it also has a divider in the middle. So I feel like if you were bringing two pairs of flats, you could definitely fit them in here. If you're gonna bring like a larger shoe, like a tennis shoe or, or a heel like I do, I don't think you're gonna be able to get two pairs. I think you'll just get the one, but you have a left shoe, right shoe. You can put a deodorizer. I'll link some shoe deodorizers below that I absolutely love. And I just put a deodorizer with each heel in here. And then when I put my in-flight shoes on, I put those on, put the heel, or 
opposite. Then when I put my airport, my airport shoes on, I put my in-flight shoes in here. <laughs> but that's, that's basically what I do. So I use and abuse my shoe bag, but also if you're just packing, like even if you're not hanging this, cause I hang it in the forward closet or I keep it by my jump seat. But even if you're just throwing it in your bag, I highly recommend, especially if you're like me and you walk everywhere and you get some smelly feet. I know we all like to think that our feet don't smell, but like, let's be honest, I would say like 99% of us little smelly. But even if you don't change your shoes out the way I change my in-flights and my other shoes, I highly, highly, highly recommend that all your shoes before you throw it in your suitcase are in a shoe bag with a deodorizer. Otherwise, all your clothes are gonna smell like feet. Like, <laughs> like let's just call it what it is. And I don't think anybody wants to walk around and be like, you know what, today I think I wanna smell like a foot. So get yourself some shoe bags. Drink break. <laughs> So the next thing I have for you guys is another bag and I needed these so bad. I'm so happy with the ones I got. Now they do come in a set of two. This one is the one that I actually like the pattern the most on both items. They do have tons of other patterns that you can look at, but I knew like this one I was actually gonna use both because it always sucks when you have one really cute one and the other one's like ugly and you know you just kind of tuck it under like, don't want to use that, but these are wet bags and I absolutely love them. They actually have a strap up at the top and it does have like this little thing so you can pop it off and then put it back on for whatever reason you might be doing that. It does have a zipper at the top where it has a big amount of space. And then again, it does have a smaller zipper. Oopsie. It does have a smaller zipper down below as well. So when you open that, you can put, let's say like you have your, your underwear, your swimsuit, whatever in here. And then let's say that you have your cover up or whatever in the main pocket. Because I really noticed that if you're working out and your clothes are sweaty, you don't wanna be mixing them with the rest of the stuff that's in your laundry, really stinking it up even extra hard. Or if you're gonna have a swimsuit and you're going swimming or whatever. So wet bags, you can keep your normal laundry in a wet bag, but you can also keep your wet stuff in there. And they're so portable and easy. Like you could definitely end up carrying these both at the same time, no problem. One for dry, one for wet, whatever you wanna do. But I did wanna give myself the option because I noticed anytime I would go swimming, I go out to the ocean or I go do something and my clothes are wet, I have nowhere to put them. I, like, I was like, where am I supposed to put this? Especially if you're like a flight attendant and you have multiple days. So let's say you're going swimming on layover number one, but then you gotta go on layover number two and now you got all this wet stuff in your bag and you don't wanna mix it in your own laundry bag. So I absolutely love these. It feels expensive, like these feel high end. Like these feel like really nice quality bags. The stitching on them is very nice. So I definitely recommend if you're going somewhere on the beach or you like to work out on your layovers or whatever you like to do, get you some wet bags. So speaking of stuff that I do not want wet in my bag, I actually picked up one of these. So this is a Beauty Blender sponge holder and it's very breathable. Now it can go bigger or smaller. So you can actually fit two sponges in here or just one sponge in here cause you can kind of like shrink it on down. It's like silicone, so it's very easy, but you need to make sure if you are getting one of these, it has to be breathable. I learned this the hard way, you guys. This is why I have this because I have learned the hard way that time and time again, I have to keep throwing away my makeup sponges because they get mildew on them. Like I could see it and I was like, oh my God, and all that bacteria builds up. So you have to be so careful. Make sure when you're buying one of these like get this one or get one that has a ton of holes because you want it to be breathable but secondly the other thing that my makeup um, sponges were doing is any leftover foundation or concealer that was on them they were starting to rub into my other bags like my makeup bag or whatever leaving behind like a trail of like orange makeup on them so i want to make sure this is going to protect my stuff from getting makeup all over it but also to give my time my sponges time to dry because here's the thing like let, let's let's have a moment of honesty with ourselves like how many of us are going to get up early especially on a short layover to wait for that sponge to dry yeah, I didn't think so. So no one's doing it. We're not gonna go the extra mile to get up early just so the sponge has time to dry. So learn from my mistake and get one of these. And again, make sure it has a lot of like holes. If you're not gonna get this one, make sure whatever you're getting has a ton of holes. And this one does hold up to two sponges, which is why I love it because I have a foundation sponge as well as a concealer sponge. So I wanna make sure it could hold both in here and allow both to fit and have time to dry. So my next item is a must have for me. I've shown it to you before. If y'all have seen some of like my what's in my bag videos, I, I've shown this is always, always in my bag. The only reason I have a new one is because my last one is all done. I needed a new one because this is a must have for me and that is poopery. You guys, especially if you are going to be on a morning flight, whether you are working it or going to be a passenger, you need this. 
some of y'all be letting the devil come out in the morning and I feel bad not only for the crew that has to be in the back galley but also for the passengers that are in the few last rows. I don't go on a single trip without this stuff because it just stinks. It stinks. It stinks. And, and another tip for y'all, you're welcome for this one because I don't think a lot of flight attendants will tell you because I don't want to get into the nitty gritty, but most airplane toilets do not have water in them. Now, if they do, it's called like blue juice and some of them will, but most do not. So tip from your flight attendant friend, get some toilet paper, make a layer down at the, the bottom, do your business, spray some poopery, flush it all down. You're welcome. No one's going to know what you did in there. It's between you and that toilet for whatever your business happened in there, but highly recommend because they don't have water. So it's just like suction to suction it all down. So make the toilet paper layer, get yourself some poopery and you're welcome. I'll, I'll throw it all out there. I'll give you all the tips and tricks because I'm tired of smelling it in the back, in the back galley. So poopery comes on every single trip with me. You definitely need it, especially on the morning flights with all the coffee. You're welcome. <laughs> just so good. So earlier we talked about the masks, love it or hate it. They're not going away anytime soon. And the other thing that is not going away is your vaccination card. So I bought a pack of these. They're super cheap and affordable. I got a pack of like five of them all together. So my husband and I both have one. I'll give these to like my sister or somebody. So they're really easy because a lot of destinations are now requiring that you show proof of vaccination with your vaccination card. There are restaurants and other places that are requiring that you show proof. I don't care what end of the spectrum you are. It just is what it is at this point. We're not going to get into the controversies of it as much as if you have a vaccination card, I highly recommend you get one of these. I put my card in there. It fit just perfectly well and, and all. And the whole card fit into my wallet. I just put it right in the middle where my passport's at and it's all gravy. So I highly recommend if you're going to be trying traveling with your vaccination card, or if you're just going to be having it in your wallet in and out, you don't want to ruin it. So I would get one of these They're Again, they're super cheap and affordable and they fit right into your wallet. Most, at least most wallets like mine for sure did. Like if your passport's going to fit, this will definitely fit. Okay. So on the next item, I was actually looking for sandals that were very versatile. So I wanted something that I could just run down to the hotel lobby. Let's say I got DoorDash and I needed to run down there, pick up some food, but I also kind of wanted something that I could also take with me as like a, a duplicate. So I'm not carrying a bunch of shoes so I could go out on the layover in public look respectable look fine like no one's gonna say anything so I found these so I'm pretty sure they're kind of like a knockoff Birkenstock like if y'all saw this last video I packed these and I love them like they are so comfy like I put them on I didn't have blisters at all they're very very comfy so if you're kind of looking for like a Birkenstock dupe but don't want to pay for like Birkenstock prices definitely check these out they have all different colors there's a bunch of colors to check out I think this was the taupe color I, I picked up if not I'll, I'll put it on the screen if it was something else but I think this was like the taupe color and they are just so comfy and they do have like this band so you can adjust them I'm not gonna go hiking in these or something but if you want something you can go down to the lobby in or you want something that you can actually go outside and no one's gonna judge you or say anything definitely pick something up like this because they're also very trendy right now sorry you guys I had to change the camera battery but hopefully you don't notice so much hopefully I got you back in the same angle around there but I don't know if you guys have heard of stasher bags. They are huge in the flight attendant community right now. Um, the only thing though is they are expensive. I've heard nothing but good things, but they are, are pricey. Like you're, you're going to pay for it. So I was kind of on the hunt to find a dupe for them that are not so pricey. And I really think I found an awesome dupe. Like you get way more bang for your buck. So, so they actually look like this and they are thick they are very sturdy and they have the little ziploc part at the top and they are supposed to be leak proof so you can dump them over but the really impressive thing is they also stand up so even if you're not traveling these are great but the other benefits of them let me just read it for you so they are freezer safe they are oven safe they are microwave safe they are dishwasher safe they are stovetop safe they are good for vacuum cooking and they are free of bpa and pvc so they're good for the oceans and the environment and that's why like they have been so big because a lot of flight attendants love to pack these and just like stand them up in their stuff now this specific i got my hair on it we just gonna pretend that didn't happen so so the specific set that i bought comes with one of these and i'll kind of turn it to the side so you can really see it it comes with one of these it comes with one of these it comes with this one 
and this one and last but not least this little mini one so these are great because you can actually put a full meal in here if you want to put rice and chicken and some veggies you can put like some snacks in here you can put nuts you can put carrots you can put pretty much whatever you are looking for to put in there but that's why they're so impressive oh it says it right here I didn't even realize it so it, it tells you all the stuff right here in case you forget what you can actually do with it it also has measuring over here so if you want to put soup or something they are supposed to be leak proof I would personally test it with water before you throw it in your lunch bag throw some water in here dump it over your sink make sure nothing comes out before you actually do fill it with a liquid double test the leak proof so because of all that and how versatile they were that is why I was actually looking for a dupe because I didn't want to spend the price of the stash of bags I'm not gonna lie like I was like that is a lot to spend on just one single thing whereas on this one you get a whole kit for like less than than sometimes what one of the pieces of the stash of bags cost so definitely check them out but because they are so versatile because you can take them from the freezer to the oven to the microwave and all that stuff that is why they are absolutely so popular so be sure to check those out if you like to travel with your food or if you are just looking for a great alternative to traditional Tupperware okay so that is it for me once again all these items will be down in the description box below I'm gonna go get me another glass of Bright Cellars wine if you did enjoy this video go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up press that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time bye